Good. Morning, guys. How are you? All good. Okay, guys. Good. Let's get out there and make a start difference. with a video. We start all, all by itself. Let's dance. What the shit? There you go. Once again, good morning, guys. How are you? Good. Uh, yeah, so we started off with a few video clips, moving uh, images, which is where more or less everyone is going now. The video market, the video viewing is growing all over the place. Um, I will tell you, tell you a few words about how we see this shift, what we are doing, um, and actually tell you about a case where, uh, where we launched a, a world-class Netflix competing service in, in uh, six months. It's quite cool. Good. Uh, but the big theme we have in, uh, in TV, in uh, media, in general, you could say, is that, that uh, the market is shifting from viewers to, to users, or we are interacting from viewers uh, to, to users. Uh, and all of you tech guys, of course, go, duh, you know, did you figure this out now? But it's actually for a TV company, it's a, it's a, it's a fairly big shift. Uh, you know, from, from us being the ones who told uh, the viewers, you know, what to watch, when to watch it, you know, how to watch it, how to consume your uh, 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 video, uh, to actually the users, consumers being completely in charge of, uh, of what they want to see, how they want to see it, uh, and when they want to see it. Uh, and of course, that's a, that's, a, that's a very fundamental big shift in, in, in how we should run our, our business and, uh, and, and how we should construct our services. Uh, if we go a bit back to the strategy and, uh, and look at a few consultant slides here, uh, uh, what's, what's really happening in the industry is that the, um, the value chain uh, is changing a lot. So we used to have, I don't know, five, ten years, we used to have a, a, a quite stable situation where we have uh, people producing content, then we have had aggregators like us, broadcasters making uh, channels and channel packages, uh, we had uh, distributors, uh, operators, which uh, uh, were the guys who were actually in touch with the consumers. And then we, of course, had the cons we have a set-top box and a TV set, and then we had uh, viewers watching all this content. And this used to be a you know, fairly tough industry, but very stable and nice. We had all everybody kept in their, in their, in their silos and, uh, and did their thing, and then we had some negotiations about who takes what share of the pie, you know. Uh, but then along came the internet, and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, and the speeds became sufficient to to broadcast or to stream video, uh, which changed the whole thing, of course. And now we have these uh, new guys coming in: Netflix, HBO, YouTube, Facebook, you name it. Everybody is coming into video, uh, and what they do is that they have a vertically integrated business where they. Actually, if you go to Netflix and, and, and those guys, they produce their own content, they curate it, they have their own service, and they are directly in contact with the uh, users at the end, um, which is a completely different model to what, to what we used to be in, at least. Uh, and on top of that, all of these guys and all of these platforms are, uh, are, are uh, uh, operating on a scale that's uh, completely, of course, uh, global, which is a big challenge for us. Okay, so if we, if we go into to how we respond to, to, to this, uh, there's of course a few big trends happening. Uh, one is that linear TV is in, in decline. So, uh, so people don't watch TV as much as they used to be. However, still to be uh, considered is that, is that it's, it's, you know, the average Finn, for instance, watch, watches TV still more than two hours each day. You know? So it's, a, it's, a, it's a quite a big media. But it's, you know, for us, it's, it's coming down. Then we have a, an, another trend where we look at premium video, uh, and we actually see that, that 
uh, there's two trends. The viewing is going online. Uh, it's going, of course, uh, time and space shift, so you watch it whenever and wherever you want. But it's also shifting to pay, right? So previously, uh, the majority of the services used to be ad-funded. Now, actually, what's growing is pay. So, you know, Netflix, HBO, Viaplay, these kind of services that, that uh, charge a subscription fee. Because that really unlocks the potential of uh, OTT and, uh, and, you know, puts the consumer in charge of, uh, of what to watch and how to watch and when to watch. And what we, of course, also see is that the market in which we operate follows that shift. So, uh, you know, fortunate for us, I would say, is that we work on a market that's uh, growing. Unfortunate for us, there's many more, you know, uh, players to share that pie. But as you see, the, 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 the pie in the future, we believe, is, uh, is growing digitally, but what especially is growing is, is what we call SVOD. So the acronyms here, sorry for the media industry stuff, up is free-to-air, ad-funded TV, uh, below that is AVOD, so advertising-funded video on demand, then you have pay TV, ordinary, regular pay TV, uh, and then on the bottom you have SVOD, which is subscription video on demand, Netflix and those guys. And that's, that's where, where we see the majority of the growth coming. And actually, the market, we think, in the future will be 50-50 subscription uh, or pay and 50 ad. Good. So with all this in hand, uh, I jumped on board a year back uh, at MTV. And uh, what I found was this. Uh, so this is a uh, share of distribution uh, on, the, on, the, on the market. Uh, and uh, oh, sorry, it's in Finnish, actually. Uh, the, first, the first slides show that, that the pay TV uh, penetration of households. So you, have, uh, you had a situation where we have 37% uh, of Finnish households subscribing to some pay TV service, which internationally speaking is quite low uh, because we have such a strong free-to-air offering here. And that's been fairly flat for the last 10 years. Uh, out of that, our share was uh, above 50%. So MTV held more than 50% per percent of the cake, which is also true for linear TV, which is also true for uh, AVOD. Uh, but then what's been growing in the last five years is SVOD. So you have all of a sudden, you have almost as many households last year that subscribe to an SVOD service. 82% of that is Netflix. Uh, some are subscribing to HBO and Viaplay, and then all of us you know, local TV guys are in the sort of other small uh, section. And there's really no re big good reason for, for that being so, except for that we sc <laughs> screwed up, you know. So, uh, so you know, we, we dominate all the other, other parts, but we weren't here. So we had to do something. Uh, first of all, what we did is we shifted uh, the, the, the pay TV business from a volume-based we are very good at driving volume, very good at driving reach on the free TV side, but we were not so good at driving sub subscription businesses. We shifted that from volumes to, to, to actually a prof profitable business uh, where we, where we uh, concentrate on the revenue generated per each user. But at the same time, at that time, we had a very unclear and fuzzy brand portfolio where we uh, packaged the pay TV brands under both the MTV brand and uh, uh, international Seymour brand we ha have. Uh, and then online, we had a mishmash of uh, free pay transactional subscription services all in one that, that was very unclear uh, to consumers. So what we did is, uh, is, is we packaged the pay side, everything under one brand. We changed it. We took the MTV brand off of everything, which... Uh, <laughs> caused a big fuss internally at least, because everybody thought that the MTV brand is fantastic, which it is, uh, but it's a, it's, a, it's a free TV brand, uh, and it's associated with free TV news and free TV programming and so on, and not suited to, to fight Netflix and HBO and th those guys. So we changed it all, and we also decided to launch a completely new s service. The strategy up to date was, was that all the different uh, video services were, were under one umbrella brand, Katsomo, uh, and, uh, and you had, as I said, a mismatch of, uh, of different things which were hard to understand. So we did that, uh, and we uh, constructed a business model where we, where we actually try to use the whole platform we have, and, uh, and uh, we reach 
we reach a whole lot of people. We, I think we're the largest social media player in, in, uh, in Finland. We have 6.7 million likes each month. Uh, you know, and then we drive consumer interest up to our channels, up to our AWOD services, and then, then, then up to the VIP room up in, uh, in, uh, at Seymour, at the pay service. So we actually organized and constructed and tried to, tried to put the whole uh, business uh, to do this. Um, you know. And uh, you know, what's, what's of course the big trick for us is that, that you know, all this is happening, all this we are doing, the competition is, is, uh, is getting stronger and stronger, harder and harder, tougher and tougher all the time. Uh, you know. And what we need to do compared to before is invest more in both tech and in, the, in content. Uh, and what we decided on how we will uh, differentiate ourselves you know, is you know, we need to have a service that's good enough to compete with Netflix, which is actually quite, <laughs> quite big. So, so you know, that's, a, that's a big thing, but we, we will for sure not beat them on tech. We, 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 we will be good enough uh, to play, uh, but we, we will not beat them there. But where we can dif differentiate ourselves against all these guys is, is uh, in Finnish uh, content. And Swedish, actually. So, what we decided is that we need to be in the game, we need to be in the game fast, the clock is ticking, uh, we need to launch uh, an, an, an SVOD service. And we need to launch that SVOD service in, uh, in a very fast time, time frame. So, so we decided, decided to do that in, uh, in six months. We had a good deadline. One of our, our uh, key content propositions is the Formula One uh, rights. Uh, and that season starts in, uh, in March. And we decided this last fall, so we decided, decided that when the next Formula One season starts, we, we, we will have the service up and running. And, and the service will, of course, hold exclusive Formula One rights. Uh, we did a sort of simultaneous Ten years uh, push on everything. Uh, we did uh, content, we did marketing, branding, we did service development and design, and we, we, we revamped the org or, or organization all at the same time. And actually, one maybe the most important decision we made here is that the launch product needs to be a minimum viable one. It doesn't need to be a perfect one. So, you know, it's actually not even ready yet. We, we are sort of saying ourselves that next spring we will have an SVOD service that's sort of, you know, stands out an SVOD, as an SVOD service. Uh, but we decide, decided on what the minimum viable would be uh, and launched that. And then, of course, the development goes on. At least all of you tech guys probably work a lot with Scrum. Uh, this is completely new for a, 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 a broadcaster. Uh, we used to do very much waterfall, and you, you know, it's very long lead times. You know, we're planning sort of now. The guys are sitting down and planning what to schedule on TV 2018 in the fall or 2019 or so. And you know, this world simply moves too fast for that. So we uh, we changed the way of working to to agile and to Scrum. And uh, you know, <laughs> actually, I have a fantastic tech team, and there's you know there's a lot of great guys there. But I sort of hid them, you know, so nobody else can see them in in a, a basement place. You know, they can work on the on the on the Scrum base where everybody else works. Waterfall. Good. So I was touching a little bit on on uh, on, on how we stand out here. But what we when we analyzed the market, uh, we we sort of put it like this on the SVOD services. We said that you can watch it through an, a lens of international versus uh, national, and you can look at it through a lens of mostly archive and mostly new. Now, many of you guys would, of course, argue that Netflix has moved this way, which is absolutely true. They have uh, commissioned a lot of, of original and own content, which is on the service, service now. Uh, but still, it's international, mainly new. Uh, but there's no service which caters for the Finnish, Swedish, uh, Nordic, uh, uh, sort of very fresh, original uh, content. Uh, so we created a position that looks like this, you know, pay TV, actually everywhere, not only here. Pay TV used to be premium international series and movies and sports and a little bit of kids, uh, you know. So we decided that we do something different. We, uh, we, uh, we, uh, our USP will be local Finnish and Swedish drama, uh, which, which we will window. So the force, of course, we have is being a big media house. We, uh, we will window, we will title, they, they will be called Seymour or Reginald Sirius, but then we put them on free-to-air TV 
after six months or, or so, and we can earn money in each, uh, each window. So that's one. And then, of course, we have live sport, which is still a, a, a very big thing and, and, and moves big audiences. And then around this, we need to have international movies series still to play in the, in the game. We will not win Netflix with that, but we will need to have it. We need to have kids and family. We have uh, all the free-to-air content we have without ads, which is actually quite strong. Uh, people are a little bit tired of, uh, of watching pre-rolls and mid-rolls and all of that. So you can watch your favorite content without ads on the service. And then we will, we, we will have all the series we have on the channels. There will be full box sets here. Um, so here's, a, here's a, a picture showing on how we window. Uh, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah. So it will be on SVOD exclusive three to six months, then on free to, free to air and AVOD, but stay on the SVOD at the same time. So we get sort of a second wave of that, and then it will be on SVOD only, uh, which actually we have ramped up the investment we have in, in Finnish drama a lot now. It's, uh, it's unheard of, actually, what will, will, will come out in the, in the next few years. Uh, it's great, and uh, you know how we how we uh, view this is uh, is uh, as I said uh, we window it through the windows, uh, but for for pay TV and for the S word service we need triggers and we need hooks. Triggers are all this new stuff, all the sporting events, all the new drama we have, and so on, which brings in a lot of subscribers. Uh, whereas we need hooks to keep them stay, staying on, and these might be different. So, 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 so uh, we, in, we invest in both. We have the one of the strongest, at least, uh, kids and family pro, pro position on the on the market. Uh, we have uh, exclusive movement from uh, from which we took from Ule, the public broad broadcaster here, which is a very very big thing in Finland. Uh, and shown, uh, and of course, then the triggers we can use uh, for uh, for free to air as well, uh, high reach, complementary digital. Good. Uh, so we created a, a big campaign, uh, a big push, where we positioned ourselves as the first service to combine Hollywood, Nordics, and Finnish content all in one. Uh, and uh, we actually managed to launch the service in uh, in six months. Uh, and the, the fortunate, you know, fortunately for us, we have uh, we have the whole house, the whole media power to push this, uh, and we created a bit of a funny, funny uh, uh, TV show. This will resonate at least with you Nordic guys. Hope it it, it does for the international guys as well. Uh, we did this a, a concept, you know, of sort of genre called Nordic noir, which is a little bit dark uh, detectives. Uh, stories, which is very a big a big thing, and, and, and what we are doing as as well, uh, and we combine the, the 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 biggest stars in uh, Swedish and Finnish detective drama with a sort of U.S. Childish Angels type boss who runs the show. Uh, I will show you one clip. We did 15 of of these. This is uh, the second one, I think. As you know, the local Finnish Seymour claims to be transmitting over 6,000 hours of entertainment every month. You saw the it on for reclaiming. Mr. Alotetta. From the harbor, we suspect that there is something going on. Konti auki. Konti auki. Yeah, we made a bit of fun of ourselves as well. Uh, the campaign worked extremely well. Uh, it's a lot of clicks here. Uh, you could just say that that the. Uh, the, uh, we are the number two SVOD brand now. So Netflix is still ahead, but we surpassed all the other, other guys in, uh, in, uh, in a few months, uh, which is unheard of and fantastic. Good. 
I'm running out of time a little bit. Uh, just just a few words uh, on on uh, on a big change as well, which we are doing is is how we run the show uh, and manage the business we have. Uh, we are we are uh, putting the customer in the middle of everything we do. Uh, and uh, uh, sorry, here's some Finnish words as, as well. There's not all translated. <laughs> Later. But it's, yeah, so we put the customer in the middle of everything we do, and then we have a sort of uh, wheel around that where we have, uh, have different parts of the funnel and different parts of what we do. Uh, and the idea behind it all is that we run the show, first of all, from the customer's point of view, and then secondly, we, we, uh, we optimize the whole wheel. You know, so for instance, we day-to-day -day decisions might be that there's maybe not so smart to invest a lot in marketing if we have a UX problem uh, or a content problem or vice versa, uh, uh, and, uh, and 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 we run the show very cross-functional. So it's uh, it's it's marketing, it's sales, it's UX, it's uh, you know tech guys, uh, CRM, everything in uh, in one. Good. Uh, Last slide, I think we uh, we uh, it's working fantastically well. So we we are exceeding expectations as it is, uh, which is uh, which is great. Good, thank you.